Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Jim Hayes and I'm your neighbor. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk to you about trash. I know it's not one of your favorite topics, but we have a problem over here at Hampton Court. Sometimes, and actually I hate to say, but most often, our neighbors don't know about breaking down their boxes. And so today, I'm going to show you how to break down a box, which I'm sure you know, but a little reminder. And I'll tell you some of the benefits of breaking down boxes for the overall neighborhood community. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my box flattening workshop. It's amazing how easy it is to flatten boxes. Let me show you my tools. You have over here a flathead screwdriver, which could be used to cut it or a, an X-Acto knife or a simple kitchen knife. Now the other two, a battery and a measuring tape, I'll tell you more about those later. All right, well, I'm gonna start off using the X-Acto knife. It's an ideal tool, but absolutely not necessary to have something this sophisticated. Okay, you have a sharp end of the knife. Now you pick up your box. Here's your typical Amazon box that many times when I look in the trash can, it's, it's put in there without being flattened. But I, I think if our neighbors were aware how easy it is to flatten it, maybe they would do, they would do that. Here we go. So we just down the middle, a little cut here like that, almost no effort. And then, I'm sorry, the first one, my, my safety was bad, but you should probably cut away from yourself, okay? Oops, sometimes it's okay to cut towards yourself, I guess, if you're not a child. Uh, and the next one is this one side here. We just cut through here, okay? Then I close up the tool for safety, put it back down, and then, I, this is really the fun part, I pull out the belt the sides, pull out this side, pull out this, pull out the center so you have an open area here, and I flatten it. Now that is what you end up with, a flat box. Okay, and one of the interesting differences is, a box this size, an Amazon box this size, it is worth a total of savings. This is one cubic inch. This will save space in our large trash bins of about 400 cubic inches. So imagine if we have 20 of these boxes in there, there's a lot more room that they'll be made. So that's my first cut. Now I want to show you a little bit bigger of a box because some people might say, man, imagine a box that's bigger like this. The first thing you do, there's something in it. I can throw that away later. Lay it on it. I lay it here like this. This time I'll try to use, I can go ahead and use the screwdriver. Okay. So I use the screwdriver. Again, I go right down the middle. It's so easy to slice it. It's actually kind of pleasurable. Do that and then I cut the end which is a little more challenging but not I think I recommend you put it on its side so you can get the ends and then I put this one on its side cut both sides using the sharp end um, <laughs> and sometimes you know if you haven't been doing it that much lately it's a little bit of a challenge but it's not too bad so I put the screwdriver down so it's out of my way again now here's the fun part I have all the ends opened up, push it out, move it this way, and voila, the box is flattened. Now, obviously, if I have a lot of boxes, I'd probably put the smaller box on top so that I can carry it together. This is a nice base for carrying boxes. So that's how you cut boxes. As you know, it's pretty easy to do. And then imagine a box as big as this, is this chewy box. This is for cat cat food that we get in the mail, this chewy box, this one would probably be a thousand batteries of volume that would be saved in the trash can. And I know some of you have trash cans that flow over at the end of the week before the trash man comes and saving hundreds of this, just of this size cubic inch, just by flattening the boxes could make a big difference between trash all over the ground and smelling vermin and just a clean trash area. So thank you so much for listening to my box flattening um, episode and there'll be more coming. Bye.
Hi, look at this first picture of the trash bin and it's completely full to overflowing and you can see one box that's not broken down in the front and another one in the back plus many more that are inside. If you multiply the amount of area saved there, if the boxes had been flattened, there would be nowhere near overflowing. Now, look at the second picture. The second picture is similar to the first, but you can see that it's just about ready to overflow. Some, real, some organic material is ready to drop on the ground. Now, somebody has flattened a box there, but it's still, um, I bet there's many under there that were not flattened. And this will not get emptied until Monday. It was, this is a Sunday when the picture was taken. So you can see that we could avoid a lot of over spillage. Take a look at our trashes again. This is a perfect illustration of what it means to, to flatten a box. So look in here, it's empty. And if we put these two boxes that I showed you in our video, I made these boxes flat, and we put them at the bottom of this empty trash can. There will be more trash coming in here soon, okay? People will be coming. Look at it nicely flat on the bottom of the trash. That compared to if they were not flattened, we're looking at a thousand cubic inches saved of space for other trash. And the other good thing, think about that, a thousand cubic, that's like a thousand nine volt batteries that we could be saving that space and preventing all this overflow that costs us hundreds of dollars every week or every month, hundreds of dollars, and a lot of time, and it's not sanitary, and it causes neighbors to complain. And so there's a lot of problems that could be improved if we would just flatten our boxes. So I hope this video has been useful to you, and I would encourage you to take a little extra time and flatten your boxes, and you might be surprised, and you'll feel good about yourself. Bye-bye.